Hey kids, it's great to see you again today. It was so exciting last week to hear your victorious and confident voices talk about the way you were ready to let your faith in God and your trust in God overcome your fears. It was just awesome to hear your voices. Well, this is one of three really big live oak trees on uh, where our house is. If you've been here, if you've driven by, you've seen a couple of them. This one's way back in the back. There's actually a family of raccoons that live up in here, so Sam always has to run out here and bark at the raccoons every day. But this uh, oak tree didn't get here easily. Uh, it had to overcome all the other things that were along the creek here, and it's been a really long time growing. There's a uh, whenever we have bad weather um, threatening like we do now, I always remind Sharon there are those three trees in our yard that have been there and, and I say they were there when the 1900 hurricane, 1901 hurricane came through and destroyed Galveston and in reality destroyed most of the, the buildings that were here in this area. Uh, nothing was left after that. But these trees, these three trees, were still here. They were here. They were smaller, but they survived it. They didn't let the storm carry them away. Well, I'm wanting to remind you, you've gotten started and it sounds like it was a good week at school. And now we have this word about this storm that's in the Gulf, two storm that's in the Gulf, and they, everybody's talking about how, how that has hardly ever happened. And we may just kind of want to throw our hands up and say, ah! There's just too much. I can't overcome it. But that's not how God sees it. In the book of Lamentations, uh, Jeremiah is looking over the destruction of the city of Jerusalem after the Babylonian army destroyed it and carried off most people. You know the stories of Daniel. Daniel was carried off by the Babylonian uh, king when he defeated Jerusalem. But in his book that he wrote, Lamentations, and lamentation means to be sad about something. He talks about all the sadness he has. But then he says this, I have hope when I think of this. The Lord's love never ends. His mercies never stop. They never, ever quit. They are new every morning. The Lord is mine, so I hope in Him. The Lord is mine, and because His love won't ever quit on me, I'm never going to quit on Him. I just want to encourage you as you face the struggles as the school year gets started, and I'm so thankful that you've proclaimed that I'm going to trust God instead of letting my fears get me. I want to now encourage you to say, I just won't quit. Say it with me, nice and loud. I just won't quit. The thing I want to remind you of, most of all, is that God, in His Word, constantly says, I'm never going to quit on you. When Jesus went to the cross, there was nothing that was going to make Him quit and not do what needed to be done to love us. And now the question is, are we going to be people who quit? Don't quit on yourselves, because you're worth the endurance it takes to get through whatever it is, the struggle that's going on right now or in the future. But even more than that, God says, don't quit on me. So say it with me one more time. I'm never gonna quit. And let's just add one thing to it. I'm never gonna quit on God.